Hello guys. Today uh, we are talk about uh, also about music as yesterday. Today we have some tests to do it. Uh, one of them is this one. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to ask questions in simple present using do or does along with WH question works. As we remember, guys, uh, the WH questions <clears throat> are what, where, when, how, why, and which. Today we will continue. Uh, we will learn how to make uh, that kind of question with WH questions. I will share my screen in a whiteboard in order to uh, make a little review how to create a WH questions. As we practiced yesterday, if you remember, the WH question are WH plus auxiliary verb in this case is do or does plus subject plus complement plus period. This is the structure. Right now, I will give it to you an example. What, um, when do you start to play guitar? Or another one, it could be Where do you learn to play guitar? Another example will be with the same structure. It's does. And the third person subject. It could be in this case, it will, it will be used Erica. Where does Erica learn to play guitar? As I mentioned yesterday, when we use does, we don't need the, to add an S or a ES or IES at the end of the, uh, the verb. Ah, sorry, it's, it's missing here. Oh my gosh. It's... WH question as auxiliary, it's do or does plus subject plus verb plus complement plus period. Oh, in this case, no, it's not period, it's question mark. Well, this is the structure. Do you have any doubt about these aims, guys? Well, I guess it's not. In this kind of cases, it's time to make a little test. No, it's not this one. Let me, is this one. Okay, before make this test, I will play a video. At the end of this lesson, participants will be able to ask- Can you see, can you listen the, the video guys? Yes. Thank you. Yes, Questions in simple present using do and does 
along with WH question words. We will get ready to ask two types of questions, yes no questions and WH questions. On your notes, please jot down both auxiliaries as we go over them. Remember, we use these auxiliaries for simple present tense in questions and negative answers. Yes, no, and WH questions with do. Do you like rap? Yes, I do. I like it a lot. No, I don't like it very much. What kind of music do you like? I like rock a lot. Does he play the piano? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. What does he play? He plays the guitar. Do they like the Beatles? Yes, they do. They love them. No, they don't like them very much. Who do they like? They like you, too. Object pronouns. Me. You. Him. Her. It. Us. Them. Did you notice both auxiliaries? Do and does? Do. Does. Did you notice the changes that occurred when we used the auxiliary in a question for third person singular? Does he play the piano? If not, play the video again until you understand it. Keep in mind that whenever we use does, the verb goes back to its base form. Something I want you to understand is when the question being asked uses a WH question word, it means we need more information when answering. In this class, as already mentioned, we're talking about two kinds of questions. Check it out. Do you like Madonna? Yes, I do. No, I don't. What does she sing? She sings pop music. She sings. Thank you. Right now, guys, we will make the test, but one more time. Remember, if you can see, this is simple present. She sings pop music. Because we are talking about a third person, we add an S on the verb, at the end of the verb. But what happens when we make a question? Well, because we use an auxiliary, in this kind of cases is does, it's not necessary to add this because do or does is making that change. Right now, I will need your help. Are you ready for the test, girls? Chicas, ¿están listas para el test? Bueno, el silencio premia. En ese caso, voy a necesitar de su ayuda. Me pueden decir qué iría aquí, pero antes, ready following sentence, complete use by using do, does, done, or doesn't, or object pronouns. Remember the object pronouns, me, you also will play again if you have mm -hmm. some doubts. Mommy. It's me, you, him, her, it's us, and them. Those are the object pronouns. Right now, guys, I will need this one. The answer? Do. Thank you, Sandrita. Second one, Margarita, can you help me, please? Margarita, ¿puedes ayudarnos con la respuesta, por favor? Hi, hi. Um, sería, no hay ni. Don't. 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 Because, remember, the first question is, do. Do you like science fiction movies? No, I don't. Recuerden, cuando nos hacen una pregunta, nosotros vamos a responder con el mismo auxiliar. ¿Qué pasa si te hago la pregunta con Ken? Can you play the guitar? Tu respuesta no va a ser, no, I don't. Tu respuesta tiene que ser, no, I can't. Con el mismo auxiliar. Ok, next one. I don't like... Uh -huh. Thing, thing. ¿Qué sería aquí, Erika? ¿Me ayuda aquí, por favor? 
a thing. Them. Them. Okay, I don't like them very much. And here? And I will do. need do. Okay, thank you. Maricela, can you help me with the next one? Maricela, ¿podrías ayudarnos con la siguiente, por favor? Muy bien, creo que Maricela no podrá. En este caso, Lorena, ¿puedes ayudarnos con la siguiente, por favor? Lorena, are you there? Well, is there is your turn, Álvaro. Can you help me, please? Álvaro. Good evening, good evening, teacher. Me acabo de conectar, me acabo de conectar. <laughs> no te preocupes, Álvaro. Un y solo hicimos... Solo un pequeño review. Nosotros hemos visto okay. ya el video. Acordate. Object pronouns. Me, you, him, her, it, us, and them. And remember, the auxiliary verb is do or does. Does is for third person. Do it's for I, you, we, they. The other one, you will use does. Also, we watch... Uh, I explain pop music. This one. Just give me a second. Esta, expliqué esto, Álvaro. Esto ayer eh, lo expliqué y yo sé que es muy difícil, pero recuerden. Look at that. What does she sing? En simple present, la regla es que cuando hablamos en tercera persona, nosotros agregamos una S al final del verbo. It's she sings pop music. Pero... When we make a questions, we use an auxiliary. And this auxiliary is changes because we use third person. Instead, do is does because it's third person. For the reason, the verb will be in base form. Porque ocupamos el do, eh, perdón, el does, el does en tercera persona, no va a haber necesidad de que cambie este verbo. Solo va a estar en forma base. ¿Por qué? Porque este ya lo hizo. Recuerda que el verbo normal en base, en forma base es do, pero cuando se trata de terceras personas, el auxiliar o el verbo cambia a das. Por esa razón no vamos a agregar una S aquí. Habiendo explicado eso, nosotros estamos haciendo ahorita este quiz o este test y las cosas iban de la siguiente forma. Vamos a ver. Y aquí, esta era tu pregunta. Can you help me, please? Jay. Okay. Okay. Jake about don't Jake. Uh -huh. Jake and Jake. Do Jake do about? No. <clears throat> Remember the rule about third person. Jake is third person. Ah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Jake does. Does, doesn't just Jake does, does just does about don't knock about Lisa. Mm -hmm. Re recuerda esto en este caso hay una excepción. ¿Por qué? Porque la pregunta fue hecha con el auxiliar do. Obviamente, do and does es casi lo mismo, solo que das es para terceras personas. Por lo tanto, tú vas a escoger el mismo auxiliar. Pero como estamos hablando de tercera persona, él le preguntó, ¿Do Jay and Lisa like soap opera o soap opera? ¿Alguien sabe qué significa soap opera? Novela. Eso, idea. Congrats. Pero novelas de televisión. Because we are, if we are talking about novels as... Eh, Novelas literarias es completamente diferente. Creo que ahí sí ocupamos novels. Bueno, en este caso, él está preguntando si a ellos les gusta a los dos. Y él te dice, y la respuesta es, Jay does, but I don't know about Lisa. 
O sea, mira, subject, primera persona y él ocupó, don't. Y está hablando de una tercera persona y en este caso es este, Lisa. Next one. And the next person, it would be Aide. Aide, can you help me with the next one? It's a pronoun. ¿Tú? No. Recuerda, este es un pronoun. Porque aquí ya está el auxiliar. Mira. Aquí ah. está. Y ah, los vale. pronouns are me, you. Ask me. Me, ask me. No. Porque uh -huh. recuerda, mira, mira la conversación. Él le comenzó preguntando, do you like science fiction? No. No, I don't. Aquí es. Aquí es don't. No, I don't. I don't like them. Hi. Y él le preguntó, ¿Do Jake and Lisa like soap opera? Mm -hmm. And la respuesta fue, Yes, yeah, Jake does. But I don't know about Lisa. And then, why don't you? Care. Eso. Eso. Right now, next one. Andrea, can you help me please with the next one? What kind of music? Andrea, are you there? Okay. I guess Andrea is not available to participate in this class. Maricela, are you there? No. Jennifer? Ah, Maricela, are you there? I can see that you deactivate the microphone. ¿Podrías ayudarnos, Maricela? Creo que no. Jennifer? Can you help us? Teacher. Sí, diga, Sandrita. Será do. Eso. Gracias por ayudarnos. Agradezco mucho tu participación, Andrea. Perdón, Sandrita. Muy bien. Yes, it's do. Why? Because we are talking about two persons. And it's a little group. It could be you or them. And for that reason, it's do. You are doing well. Next one, it would be Erica. Can you help me, please? Uh, what does he play? Yes. Why? Because we are talking about third person. And remember, he, she, it is does. The cello. Do you know what does it mean cello? ¿Saben qué significa cello? Un instrumento musical. Exacto, es como un violín grande. And the cello. I have his new CD. Let's listen to It's a pronoun. Recuerden, al final de la sentence van los pronouns. And los pronouns are me, you, you, it. Eso. ¿Quién dijo it? I. Gracias, Aide. It's it. And the last one. Okay. After let's listen to Andrea Bocelli. I love him. Mm -hmm. Why? Because him is the pronoun for he. And we are talking about a boy. How can we notice that at the end of the sentence? Si se fijan, at the end, nos está dando a nosotros una, una noción de qué de pronoun puede ser. 
Porque si yo les pregunto, Andrea, Andrea Bocelli, nosotros suena como el nombre de una mujer, pero no, es un hombre. Y aquí se recalca. Veamos cómo están nuestras respuestas. Hubo una que nos equivocamos. It doesn't. Perfect. Thank you, Álvaro. Ahora, guys, okay. you are doing great. I am so proud of you. Realmente estoy muy orgulloso de esta clase. Veo cómo avanzan grandemente y que captan los temas a la primera. Ahora bien, necesito que por favor abran su plataforma ahorita o tomen screenshot y hagan esto. Tendrán, no es muy difícil. Si ya tienen su plataforma abierta, les doy de 3 a 5 minutos. A las 20. Si ¿Sí diga. ¿Qué, ¿Qué significa him y, y es de them? Vaya. Antes, ya te lo explico, Álvaro, pero antes necesito que, que hagan esto en la plataforma. Ah, okay. oh, parece que por aquí había hecho un apunte. Ok. Them, ajá. Uh -huh. yeah. Ya lo tengo, ya lo tengo, teacher, ya lo tengo. <ríe> pero igual, voy a dar Gracias. este review porque es necesario que pueda que tú okay. tengas un, unas notes ahí. But I don't know if the rest of the class has that note. Por favor. Bajaré un cachito para que se miren las demás. Me avisen cuando hayan terminado quienes lo estén haciendo ahorita, por favor. I would be more than glad with you if you do that. Please. Ok, guys. Creo que ya terminaron. Ahora, dando un pequeño review de eso, permití. Gracias, gracias. Ya sabes. Muy bien. Mm, it's you or him, her, it, us, and them, and also me, are object pronouns. ¿Qué es un object pronoun? An object pronoun, it's when we are talking about something or someone. For example, this one. We are talking about a third person. For example, I am talking with Alvaro right now. Um, we are talking about uh, 
for example, Erika. Y yo le diga, eh, did you notice how is the, did you notice her? O sea, por así decirlo, ¿la notaste? En vez de poner it o solo dejar, did you notice? Agregamos, did you notice her? O did you notice him? Son los pronombres que ocupamos para referirnos a esas personas o a eso. Es como la famosa frase, are you talking to me? Es como, ¿me estás hablando a mí? Or, what else, what else? La más famosa. This one, I love you. We use that pronoun in order to end and try to explain that we are talking about someone or something. Let me verify the chat. Thank you, Sandrita. I appreciate so much that. We will continue. Okay. But before continue, do you have any question, guys? Tienen preguntas al respecto? Háganlas, que ahorita estamos para aclararlas. Recuerden que a mí me da amnesia en los exámenes finales. Son los pronom pronombres, me digo. Yes. Pronombres. It's here. Look at that. It, it says on the video. Pronoun. Object pronouns. Object pronouns. Ajá. Object pronouns. Ok. Right now. In this part, in this lesson, participants will listen, notice, and use intonation in questions. ¿Se recuerda que ya estuvimos hablando sobre las entonaciones al momento de hacer una pregunta? Muy bien, aquí vamos a tener algunos tips para hacerlo. In this lesson, participants will listen, notice, and use intonation in questions. Pronunciation. Intonation in Questions. Part A. Listen and Practice. Yes-no questions usually have rising intonation. WH questions usually have falling intonation. Do you like pop music? What kind of music do you like? Okay. So now that you have listened and paid attention, what I want you to do is to record your voice asking these questions. Try to do your best. Remember, rising and falling intonation is important. Perfecto. Ahora vamos a practicar con las preguntas que tenemos aquí. What kind of music Pero do you like? Antes de practicar, I would like to explain you a little bit more. Remember, when we use yes or no questions, it's rising. Do you like pop music? It's like a sentence. But what about WH question? What kind of music do you like? We make that intonation as down. Right now, we will continue and we will practice about this. Just give me a second, guys. I need to verify something. <clears throat> Permítame, quiero ver algo. Let me, I don't like uh, verify this kind of message on classes. Okay, guys, uh, solo como advertisement. Si ustedes tienen algún problema de internet en medio de la clase, no se preocupen. O si tienen problemas de conexión, eh, escríbanlo en el grupo y si alguien puede avisar, soy todo oídos. No me gusta revisar el celular mientras doy clases. 
cerrando ya el anuncio parroquial, let me tell you, it's time to practice. And right now, it's time to Álvaro. Álvaro, can you read the first uh, question, please? Okay. Uh, do you like to watch TV? Again. Do you like watch? Uh, do you like to watch TV? Do you like to watch TV? That's right. Thank you. Aide, can you help me with the next one, please? Okay. Do you like music? That's right. That's and next one, Erika. Can you help me with the third one? Do you play a musical instrument? I am so pro of you guys and boys. And right now, Sandrita, can you help me what, with the mm -hmm. what programs do you like? Again, remember what pro what programs do you like it? Do you like? What programs do you like? What programs do you like? That's right. Next one, it would be Jose, can you help us? What videos do you like? What videos do you like? Again. What videos do you like? Mm -hmm. uh, perfect. You are doing great, Jose. Solo dale un poquito más de entonación. Es como, what videos do you like? What videos do you like? Okay, thank you. The last one. Sandrita, can you help me with the last one, please? Okay. Erika, ¿me puede ayudar con la última, por favor? Okay. Which musical instrument do you play? Eso. Si se fijan al finalizar, se escucha como, do you play? Pero, ¿qué pasa con las otras? En las otras... Do you like to watch TV? Va hacia arriba. Y no va aquí. Va aquí, va aquí. De aquí va subiendo. As a homework, if you want to improve your pronunciation and maybe sound more native, practice this. Miren este video las veces que sean necesarias y practíquenlo. Ven entonces porque cuando lo hagan van a poder maniobrar las entonaciones hacia arriba y hacia abajo automáticamente y van a sonar más naturales. Ahora bien, we will move to the next step. In this lesson, participants will listen to a TV show where they have to pay attention to details about the contestants de los concursantes, that doesn't, this means this one. Right now, I will play this record and we will start to answer those questions. Our 12 questions. Or those are easy. Ahora bien, antes de ponerlo, necesito que por favor abran su, no, si no han abierto su plataforma, ábranla, que vamos a hacerlo juntos. Listen to four people on a TV game show. Three men want to invite Linda on a date. What kinds of things do they like? What kinds of things does Linda like? Welcome to Who's My Date? Today, Linda is going to meet Bill, John, and Tony. So, let's start with the first question on music. Bill, what kind of music do you like? Oh, classical music. Classical, okay. And how about you, John? Well, I like jazz. And you, Tony? My favorite music is rock. How about you, Linda? Well, I like pop music. I don't like jazz or classical music very much. Okay, now let's talk about movies. 
Bill, what kind of movies do you like? I like thrillers. And how about you, John? Oh, I like westerns. Westerns are good. And how about you, Tony? I love horror films. And what about you, Linda? I really like horror films, too. <laughs> and now for question number three. Bill, what kind of TV programs do you like? Well, I like to watch news programs. John? Uh, well, you know, I really like talk shows. And Tony, how about you? I like game shows a lot. And Linda, what do you like? Well, I like talk shows and game shows. Okay, time is up. Now, who's the best date for Linda? Okay, guys, are you ready to answer this test? Alvaro. <laughs> no se preocupe. Lo podemos okay. volver a poner. Pero lo iremos poniendo de la siguiente forma. Iremos respondiendo según las respuestas que nos vayan dando ellos a la misma vez. Así que pay attention, please. Listen to four people on a TV game show. Three men want to invite Linda on a date. What kinds of things do they like? What kinds of things does Linda like? Welcome to Who's My Date? Today, Linda is going to meet Bill, John, and Tony. So, let's start with the first question. On music. Bill, what kind of music do you like? Oh, classical music. Classical, okay. Uh -huh, Sandrita, ¿qué, what kind of music does Bill like? Classical. Thank you. And how about you, John? Well, I like jazz. And you, Tony? My favorite music is rock. Okay. Next one, it was John. What kind of music does John like? Yes. Thank you, Ide. And what about John? Sorry, what about Tony? What kind of music does Tony like? Rock. Nice. And the last one, it would be for Linda. How about you, Linda? Well, I like pop music. I don't like jazz or classical music very much. Okay. What kind of music do, does Linda like? Pop. Nice. Listen carefully the next part, please. Okay, now let's talk about movies. Bill, what kind of movies do you like? I like thrillers. And how about you, John? Oh, I like westerns. Westerns are good. And how about you, Tony? I love horror films. And what about you, Linda? I really like horror films, too. <laughs> okay, what kind of movie does Bill like? Aha, uh -huh, Sandrita? Sandrita? No, teacher, no, teacher. <laughs> no se preocupe. Okay, Álvaro, can you help her? Western? No. No. Thriller. What kind of, oh, what kind of Eso, movies does Bill like? Okay, what kind of movie does Bill like is thriller. Erika, can you help me with this one? What kind of movie does John like? Western. You listen great, Alvaro. Tú escuchaste que sí dijeron Webster. Igual que Erika. Thank you, Erika. But... Webster, to... Webster dije. <laughs> Ajá, pero Webster le gusta Young. No a Bill. Uh... Remember? Try to pay attention about who is asking. 
and who is answered to. And the next one, what about Tony? Aide, can you help me? What kind of movie does Tony like? I don't listen to her. Don't worry. Horror films. Mm, thank you. And what about Linda? The same one, horror film. Both. Both. And the last part, listen carefully. Oh, what's the trouble? Mm -hmm. Okay, but I pay attention. What kind of TV program does Bill like? Someone do remember? New programs. News program. That's right. Thank you, Erica. What about John? John likes um talk like, show. Talk shows. Thank you. What about Tony? News program. Nope. Game shows. Shows. Thank you. And what about Linda? Talk show and game show. Thank you, Margarita. Hey, we miss you in this class. And you are doing great. It's time to verify the answers. Congratulations, you have been passed this part. Okay, right now, at the end of the audio, um, the announcer asked, who will be the perfect day for Linda? ¿Quién sería la cita perfecta para Linda, muchachos? It could be Bill, John, Tony. Okay, let me give it to you, okay. Listen to four people on a TV game show. Listen carefully. Three men want to invite Linda on a date. What kinds of things do they like? What kinds of things does Linda like? Welcome to Who's My Date? Today, Linda is going to be John and Tony. So, let's start with the first question on music. Bill, what kind of music do you like? Oh, classical music. Classical, okay. And how about you, John? Well, I like jazz. And you, Tony? My favorite music is rock. How about you, Linda? Well, I like pop music. I don't like jazz or classical music very much. Okay, now let's talk about movies. Bill, what kind of movies do you like? I like thrillers. And how about you, John? Oh, I like westerns. Westerns are good. And how about you, Tony? I love horror films. And what about you, Linda? I really like horror films, too. <laughs> and now for question number three. Bill, what kind of TV programs do you like? Well, I like to watch news programs. John? Uh, well, you know, I really like talk shows. And Tony, how about you? I like game shows a lot. And Linda, what do you like? Well, I like talk shows and game shows. Okay, time is up. Now, who's the best date for Linda? Muy bien. A tip, if you pay attention before a question, the announcer mentioned the name. 
si ustedes ponen atención en los nombres y en keywords, no es necesario que entienda toda la oración, solo keywords, you will be able to understand almost and the complete conversations. Right now, I would like to ask him to you, what's the meaning of thrillers? ¿O qué son the thriller movies? Alparo, do you know what does it mean thrillers, movies, thriller movies? De horror? No, es no. suspenso. Suspenso. Esas películas donde no sabemos quién es el malo y están pasando cosas y nos mantienen al hilo de, de que ya va a pasar algo, ya va a pasar algo. Those are. And I there, do you know what does it mean western movies? I don't know. Son las películas del viejo oeste. For example, The Chente Movies, Vicente Fernández Movies, o Clean Eastwood Movies, the, the Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. It's a good, good reference of Western. What about, obviously, comedies, comedias, and horror film are mm, películas de horror como. Uh, Friday the 13th Nights, something like that. Se asustó. Perdón, mi niña fue. No se preocupe, Sandra. Está bien. Ok. I will give it to you right now. Oh, it's almost time. Let me verify something else. Yes, I will give it to you right now, just five minutes in order to do this test. Oh, ya lo hicieron en su plataforma, guys. Guys. Yo sí estaba en otro dispositivo. Perfect. Yes. Yo estuve trabajando, hice la mitad. Perfecto. Eh, de, este. Sí, de este. Ah, muy bien. En ese sí. caso, aquí tienen el tie eh, más tiempo para poderlo terminar. I will, I will try to scroll a little bit down. Believe me, guys, I am so proud of you. Estoy muy orgulloso de todos ustedes. Eh, 
And remember, if you have any doubt or whatever doubt about uh, the test or the platform, just let me know. Text to me by WhatsApp or on the group. You can do it and I will do my best effort in order to help you. If you don't know the meaning of a word or how to answer something, I will help into you. <clears throat> because as I mentioned, one of, the, of my main goals is that you can improve a lot your English this model. Eh, apenas se te escucha, José. Si Lo siento, Ticha. No, no se preocupe. No, no, no. Si tienes alguna favorito. pregunta, dime, dila. Y si tienes problemas con el micrófono y quieres preguntar o participar, está el chat. Procuraré estar un poco activo en el chat de Zoom. Eh, para poder pues, ver tu participación si no tienes problemas con él. ¿Alguien más? ¿Cómo van? ¿Necesitan que baje más o que suba con las respuestas? No, it's done, I guess. I finished, teacher. ¿Cómo? I finished. Thank you, Ide. I appreciate much. What about you, Sandrita? ¿Cómo va? Finish, finish. Thank you. Perfect. We will continue with the next part. Okay. In this lesson, we will listen a, to a conversation where will for invitation is used when making Ooh. plans. Antes, antes de continuar con will, y voy a darles un pequeño review. Esto es algo que yo quiero mostrarles. Those are auxiliary birds. Estos son auxiliares. La mayoría los conocemos. It's bear to be, have or has. Este es el pasado de have. Do or does. El pasado de, did, de that. Do or does is did. Will. Teacher. Yes. Está compartiendo otra pantalla. Permítame. Sí, gracias, gracias. Bueno, muy bien. Those are auxiliary bear. Aquí están mezclados. Hay unos que están en presente, otros que están en pasado. Ejemplo, did es el pasado de do y had es el pasado de have or has. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Que cuando están en pasados no es necesario hacer ningún cambio y lo podemos ocupar para terceras personas, pero eso lo van a ver luego. Actualmente, estoy muy orgulloso de ustedes porque ustedes ya pueden manejar el verbo to be, para hacer simple present o simple sentence. Igual este, para hablar como simple present, ocupan también ya el do, ya lo manejan muy bien. Y ahora vamos a poder ocupar el would. El would va a sonar raro, pero es como un pudiera. O te gustaría, o si podrías. Let me give you an example. Permítame. Un ejemplo. Álvaro, ¿cómo invitarías tú en inglés a tomar una taza de café a un amigo o amiga? Do you, um, do you do you like wood? Do you like wood? Drink uh, coffee this later? Está más o menos bien, Álvaro. <laughs> está bien y está perfecto. Te voy a explicar por qué está más o menos bien. Porque es un tema que no han visto aún. Para este tipo de de proposiciones que queremos que esta persona proponerle algo ocupamos el would would es el auxiliar 
would. Y como toda estructura en toda pregunta es auxiliary bear plus ¿Qué sigue después en todas las estructuras de preguntas? El verbo. No. Nope. Yeah. Yeah. Eso. Then it's the verb. And after the bed, the verb complement. And then question mark. Recuerden, toda, 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 no importa si voy a hablar sobre cualquier auxiliar o cualquier tipo de pregunta, esta va a ser la estructura. La única forma en que puede cambiar estructura, estructura es que nosotros preguntamos con WH question. Que le vamos a agregar la WH question antes del auxiliary. Bueno, al inicio. Lo vamos a hacer al inicio. Pero solo en ese momento. Ahora bien. Como ya sabemos que would va a ser un auxiliar. O es un auxiliar. Would es un auxiliar. No es un verbo. Es un auxiliar. Sería would you like to drink a cup of mm, no a cup of coffee in this afternoon esto es como te gustaría probemos otra Si se fija, podría Sandra participar. Pero aquí le estás. Bueno, eh, estás preguntando. Literalmente si ella puede participar. Porque. Would no siempre es podría. Porque está cool. El pasado de can. ¿Y cuál es el pasado de puedo? Es pude. O podría. Pero would es ocupado. Sí. Para no nosotros, cuando hacen preguntas, para preguntarle a la persona si ella pudiera hacer algo. De una forma polite. Mañana les voy a explicar mucho más sobre esto, guys. Sobre el Wood. Vamos a dejar la clase hasta aquí y les voy a enviar durante la mañana las imágenes de Wood. Perdón que no les he enviado imágenes para esta clase. Pero la verdad es que estuve muy ocupado esta tarde y por las mañanas también. Pero no se preocupen, no me he olvidado de ustedes. Mañana se las envío, las de esta clase y las de mañana. Good night, guys. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night.